Video in from protests in Venezuela. It can only be described as violent and intense. The United States government says it's closely monitoring the situation as the embattled president and opposition leader both call on supporters to take to the streets. The FAA has banned U.S. flights from flying below 26,000 feet over the country. Our Kelly Taylor spoke with a local business owner who has ties to the country. It's hard to see what's happening over there. Andrea Penaloza lived in Venezuela as a child, came to the U.S. as a young girl, and now runs two successful businesses. Thank you for calling Empanada Madness. This is Andrea. How may I help you? Empanada Madness serves a variety of South American foods with Venezuelan food being a best seller. Andrea's been glued to the TV screen as protesters filled the streets of Venezuela for a second day. The opposition is just trying to keep them to a limit where they cannot talk to anyone, uh, that basically they don't have any water or electricity. Her father and his family still live there. They don't leave their homes and they try to stay put uh, because you don't really want to go out there and protest or anything like that because you really could get yourself killed. Tuesday, Venezuelans clashed violently after opposition leader Juan Guaido called for a military uprising. But only a small group of protesters broke ranks with President Nicolas Maduro. It's kind of like having the army killing their own people. Does that make sense? The, the opposition is taking their National Guard and killing the, the Venezuelan people. Andrea knows change isn't going to come overnight, but she's sad it's reached this point. I wish that the, our country or the people there uh, would know how easy it is to actually live in better ways, but the, the country itself doesn't allow them to know that. And the European Union is calling for new elections in Venezuela to end the chaos. Back to you guys in the studio.